Okay guys, we all have them days when we're sleeping and we're rushed. So, mine was the worst. I had an exam on this day. So, I always have to get changed first. I just had to wear all black because I was going back to college and I didn't really have to wear my uniform. I'd already, like, got my makeup out the night before because I knew I was wearing makeup. But I slept in and I wet my beauty blender down the night before. So, I already primed my face while I was getting dressed because that's always good because then, like, it's sunken in without you really noticing. I think concealer is a must. If you don't even have time for foundation, just do a bit of concealer and bronzer and you'll probably actually be quite good. So, concealer is really good because it will just like highlight your face and make you look more awake even though we had an extra couple of minutes in bed. So, I really like Dream Matte Mousse because it dries matte but it's not drying on the face. It feels like a normal foundation but it's matte on the face. Like, I really love this stuff. It's very easy to apply just with the finger and then I use a flat top. Um, makeup brush so I can do that powder and then literally leave this is literally what we're doing today um I was in such a rush I was panicking I was getting a lift from my mum luckily I wasn't getting a bus because otherwise I'd be like I would have just done this on the bus to be honest like it's very easy and I see quite a lot of people do their makeup on the bus I'm like how do you do that so I let my concealer sink in while I eat and then I blend it out with a brush to give it a bit more pigment and then my beauty blender and my phone's going off because I had to come home from my exam. It went all right, actually. Um, dream, no, this isn't Dream Matte Mousse. This is um, Rimmel Stay Matte. Under the eyes is amazing. It will stay all day, like legit all day long. Like, it's so good. So I put that under the eyes and blend it out. And then I use my Natural Collection Powder. Um, this is going to give me a bit of warmth and it's just going to set the rest of my face from moving at all. So... I have done that with a big fluffy brush because it's much easier and yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Eyebrows, I have to do off camera because I have to get really close, but it's just some wax and a pencil. It takes me about five minutes to do, very quick, but I have to get up really close, so yes. Um, contouring is a must have as well because they will give you chin um, killer cheekbones without even like realizing, so I love it. And if you have a photo taken, if you've got your highlight in and contouring done, you will be fine. So, I do that and then I blend it out like so and blend it out and then that is it for that part. Let's take what is ever left on my highlighting brush and highlight my face. It doesn't really matter if you don't or do. Then my hair. I like to do the graveyard girl kind of look where she puts it up in a sassy bun so that's what I just do it's really nice it looks decent and it's just good when you're on the go look it's just round and then you loop it over pull it through and pull some bits out and you're done like look it's quite simple and easy and then I just pull the bits around my face out to frame my face and then I have to do per um, perfume and deodorant if you don't have time to shower I shower at the night time so it's not too bad for me but if you don't try shampoo and your hair like that it's fine um, with some perfume pitbull one obviously and deodorant then I'm going to put on my glasses and show you my outfit this outfit is super quick super casual and nice and it can be dressy and casual at the same time which i really really love these high-waisted jeans are from primark and the top is from primark as well so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me your must-haves for when you're running late and yeah i will see you guys later goodbye she got me like